24 to uh, replace Kenny Marchant. We're trying to bring uh, objectivity, common sense, and accountability to Washington. If you'd like to talk a little bit more afterwards, I'd be more than happy to chat with you. Uh, Doctor, thank I had to get my, my plug in there for a second. Uh, Doctor, thank you so much for coming and chatting with us. Uh, you are definitely hitting on every point that I've had myself have thought about, especially to get to the root of all this. Um, I think, uh, what's the saying? Uh, an eye for an eye makes the world go blind. I think we're probably creating even more terrorists with drone strikes. Uh, the stats show that uh, we're killing more innocent people than actually terrorists through these don't drone strikes. Uh, the question I did have to ask you when it comes to this topic was, um, where does the term uh, jihadists come from? And are, would that be related to ISIS, or is that something separate from that? Sure. There was one war that Prophet Muhammad, I will come to you after this. Thank you. There was one war, Prophet and his companions walk back and they sit down and then his associates ask him, what is next? Then Prophet says, we have a major jihad. Jihad is internal struggle. He said, now that we are the victors, we have this inclination to rape, murder, and abuse those whom we captured. Fighting that evil inside you is the bigger jihad. The war that we won is a minor jihad. And that's where it comes from. And jihad simply means struggle and struggle. And of course, the right-wing Muslims in the 11th century, during the times of crusades, if you remember, as a response to the crusades, they use that word jihad means to go kill others. And that is not in the Quran. And somehow that has been carried forward without being questioned. But those true scholars know that it is not there. But it is a myth. It is a perception. We have to fight to it. It will take some time. Thank you. Welcome.